In this video, I'm gonna share a simple five-step process to help you improve your chances of creating content that ranks on Google by leveraging the power of Notebook LM. And if you stick around to the end, I'll share a bonus tip as well. So let's get started. So step one is to choose your keyword. I'm over here at Answer the Public. They have a free version that you can use. You get three free searches per day and you choose your country, your language, and then you wanna put in one, maybe two words here and hit search. So to demonstrate this, I've used the word houseplants and hit search. And if we come down here, we get all of these different potential keywords that we could go after. Now, the ones that have this deep orange, such as how houseplants clean the air, gets more search volume than the very pale orange, how to repot houseplants. So just choose something that you want to go after. That is step one. Step two, come over to Google and enter your keyword here. So I've gone with this one, how to grow house plants. And then you want to scroll down and have a look at the top ranking results. So this is an AI thing, so we'll skip that. So this is currently ranking number one for me. This is number two, this is number three, etc. You wanna ignore YouTube videos and you want to ignore Reddit posts for this particular strategy. So I've opened up the three top ranking articles in a separate tab. You can go with three, four, five, there's no fixed number for this. Now step three, we need to analyze this top ranking content. So we're gonna head over to Notebook LM we are going to open up a new notebook and then we're gonna click on website for our source. We'll go and we'll grab the top ranked article right now. We'll come back, we'll paste this in and we'll hit insert. Most of the time, Notebook LM will pull this in. Occasionally it doesn't, but most of the time it does. And you can see it's pulled it in and it's given us a nice summary of this top ranked article. We are now going to leverage Notebook LM to get more information about this article that is currently ranking number one. So we'll come down here and we'll put something like, what are the key points of this article? And we'll hit enter. And Notebook LM will take a couple of seconds and then it will give us the key points. So rather than us having to read through and open up a notebook ourselves, we get these key points. So if we come up here, here are the key points of the article, Growing Plants Indoors, A Beginner's Guide. Um, and then we talk about, it talks about 10 key considerations and these are the considerations and then it lists them here, light, water, air, ventilation, etc. So now we have a good idea of the key points of the top ranking article. I would then repeat this process for the other articles. So we can hit plus, website, we can paste the second ranked article in here and we can hit insert and then we can start down here and we can say what are the key points of the second article. Now if you want to be careful you can then uncheck one of the sources so just make sure that you uncheck the right one. So this is the second ranked article which is this one. So we'll hit enter and we'll wait for a second and it's going to give us some information about that. There we go, so we just scroll back up here. We've got a lot of information here. So the key points are choosing healthy house plants, light and space, complementing decor, etc., etc. Again, you just repeat this process for as many articles as you want, ideally three to five. I'm just going to leave it at two to save time. But once you've got all of your articles in here, make sure that you select all sources and then you want to type something like this. What are some related subtopics to, and then you have your main keyword here. I have put mine in quotations. We're then going to hit enter and see if we can get some related subtopics that we could potentially cover in our article. The goal is to take the top rank content and then find out you know, what they're all writing about, but also have something extra so ours is better. So we come up here, here are some related subtopics specific plant care guides, detailed aspects of plant care, specialized growing environments, troubleshooting common problems, benefits of house plants. So now we've got all of these subtopics that we can potentially incorporate into our content. Now the final step is to use this information and then get Notebook LM to plan out our article with SEO as a focus. So we can put something like this in here. I wanna create the best, most in-depth article on the keyword and then your keyword here. First, suggest an SEO friendly title for this article. So we'll hit enter and we'll see what it comes up with. And then we can open up a new Google Drive document and begin to plan out. So let's come down here 
And look, we've got all of these different titles that we can choose from. The Ultimate Guide to Growing Healthy Houseplants, How to Grow Houseplants, A Beginner's Guide to Success, etc, etc. So it's completely up to you as to which one you choose. So we'll go with, let's just go with something nice and simple. So I will copy this. And then I'm going to go over to a new doc. I've just prepared one and then plonk that in there. I will then highlight this and I will turn this into my header. So that is my header. How to grow houseplants, a beginner's guide to success. The next thing I want to do is plan this out more. So we're going to go back to Notebook LM and I'm going to say, give me a meta description and we'll hit enter and we'll see what we can get here. And then we can put this into Yoast or Rank Math or All-in-One SEO, whatever we're using. So let's come down here. So we've got quite a long one. So I might want to make this shorter, but it gives us reasoning as to why it's chosen this. Key elements, purpose, and the meta description is a starting point. You can further tailor it based on your specific focus and tone of article. So I'm gonna copy this and then I'm going to put this in quotations. And then I might say, make this 125 characters and see if we can get something shorter and more succinct. Now I can still use this for the social media meta, but this is something that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna head over here and I'm just gonna put that in there and I'll just put in brackets, meta. Okay, so we've got that. So now we've got our meta description, we've got our title, we now need to plan out the bulk of the article. So we head back to Notebook LM, we come down here and we paste this in. Now please craft clear H2 or H3 headings for all of the different sections of my article. And in fact, I'm gonna change this and put and not or, and we'll hit enter. And now we're gonna get the main structure of our article. And then it's gonna be up to us to take that, maybe edit it if we want to. It's really up to us what we do, but if I just, copy this for now, then I'll come over here and plonk that in there. I'll get rid of this and we'll come up here. Look at this, we now have the structure. So we have our introduction, of course, then we have choosing the right house plants, our H2 tag, and then these related H3 tags. Similarly, H2, H3, H2, H3, etc. Now we're gonna probably have to add a final words or a summary at the end if we want to. This is the basis of a stellar article that we can create. Now, of course, there are gonna be some people that think, well, that's great, but I want to use AI to create the article. Other people are going to you know, write this themselves. Again, it's completely up to you. If I were going to create this content to try to rank it on Google, I'd probably want to write this myself or at least hire somebody to write it. If it's to get traffic from social media, then I could leverage something like Koala AI to write my article. It's Again, it's completely up to you. If you did want to get help from Notebook LM, let's just take these two sections here. The first H2 tag and the first H3 tag will come over here and I will paste those in there. And then I'll just come to the bottom and I could just say, please write these sections. But you just don't wanna say, please write these sections. You wanna give it a little bit more. So I might say something like, um, use the active voice, second person, and grade eight readability. So at least you've got something that is gonna be readable and a bit succinct. And we'll see what this comes up with again. Lazy people are probably just gonna take whatever AI spits out, copy and paste it on their site. Smart people are gonna use this as a guide, but still gonna to want to rewrite things, edit things, make things sound more human, and of course, fact check it as well. But we do get this kind of stuff here. So this could be the little introduction. Let's just copy this, come over here. That's the introduction there for that H2 tag. Then we could come back here. And then we've got all of this stuff here. So again, the information is not from the sources and you may want to independently verify it. Well, that's great because we don't just want to take it from another source and we do want to independently verify it anyway. But just if I just you know copied this really quickly and then came down here and made a big space and then I put that in there. Obviously, I'd need to get rid of these numbers and these little bullet points, but you can see we're starting to create an article that is going to be in depth and of immense value to the reader. 
Now before I share the bonus tip, if you're getting value from this video, then I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Now a bonus tip is to get Notebook LM to help us structure our article for featured snippets. If we go over to Google and we look for our keyword again, how to grow houseplants, and we get rid of this AI stuff at the top, we can see that the top ranked article here, we've got this list, one, two, three, four, etc. Now this doesn't look like a traditional featured snippet, it's just pulled it in from the article. If we go over to Bing, we can see it's a more traditional old school way of showing content results. So this is in a box at the top, and it really does help stand out. Obviously the image helps as well, but it's very similar. We've got a list, one, two, three, four, five. So if we can try to incorporate a list in our article, then we can potentially structure our article so that we've got a better chance of at some point in the future, maybe getting this featured snippet spot at the top of Bing and maybe at the top of Google as well. And as in this case, it's a numbered list, we're gonna go back over to Notebook LM and we'll come down here and write a numbered list of the best tips on how to grow houseplants. And if we can get this numbered list, we can take this list and we can put it towards the top of our article. So it, it kind of works as a summary prior to the actual in-depth content. So we can see here, we've got these eight tips. Now we don't need to incorporate a bunch of this text underneath because we're gonna cover this in our main article. But if we can put this list maybe after the introduction and we can have this list stand out, then this could potentially work in our favor and help us grab that featured snippet. So in essence, we can leverage Notebook LM in conjunction with the top ranked content for our targeted keyword to help us create a better article that has a chance of ranking and that can potentially grab that featured snippet. Of course, there's a lot more to ranking stuff than just the content, but even if we don't rank our content and we can get traffic from other sources, we know that we've provided our readers with a really valuable article and that's gonna keep them coming back for more. If you'd like to get all of this information in one document, then below this video, there will be a link and there'll be details on how you can get this information in one document and you can then just use it rather than coming back to this video and going back and forward. You can go ahead and grab that if you want. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.